It's my pleasure to celebrate with my colleagues the month of May as National Beef Month. And I come to the floor not just to say that we ought to eat more beef and help the farmers and cattlemen of this country. Before I get to something else, though, Iowa has the seventh largest cattle inventory in the United States and ranks fourth in the country for cattle and calves on feed. While I usually focus on the need for a fair and transparent market for cattle producers, today I want to draw attention to the job that cattle producers across the country have feeding America and the world. Over the last 30 years, the United States population has increased by 80 million people. In that same period, the world's population has grown by more than 3 billion people. In the face of a growing population, farmers across America have been faced with a challenging question. How do we meet the growing demands for food while also lowering our environmental footprint. American farmers and ranchers have risen to that occasion. In other words, not just producing more food, but how to help the environment at the same time. Farmers in all segments have expanded production to fulfill increasing demand while protecting our environment. The United States is currently producing 80% more pork, 48% more milk, 18% more beef than just 30 years ago. Now, you would think with all that increase in production, you would have more of an environmental problem. But despite the increases in production, per unit greenhouse gas emissions from pork production have decreased by 20% and 8% for beef production. Nonetheless, environmentalists still seem to place unwarranted blame, unwarranted blame on farmers for contributing to our changing and warming climate. The recent narrative that the United States agriculture is a major contributor to greenhouse gas emissions is simply not true. Now get that, it's simply not true. According to the EPA, only 11% of the U.S. greenhouse gas emissions come from agriculture. The leading sources of greenhouse gas emissions contribute nearly twice as many emissions as the agriculture industry does. Transportation contributes 27%. Electricity contributes 25%. General industry is contributing 24%. So I'm here to set the record straight. For the last 30 years, American farmers have been reducing greenhouse gas emissions with each meal served by embracing efficiency and the adoption of new technologies. Agricultural needs to have a seat at the table for these conversations because farmers are the first conservationists and can help offset emissions from other sectors of the American economy. Whether it's creating carbon sinks on farmland to produce biofuels or turning farm waste into energy, farmers have taken a very active role in reducing the environmental impact of agriculture. Research from the U.S. Department of Agriculture shows that even if the entire world was vegan, it would lower global emissions by less than one half of 1% while losing access to high quality protein very much needed in the 
in, uh, in the uh, diets of human beings. However, the facts have mentioned, that I've mentioned, do not matter to radical environmental groups or the mainstream media. Articles on food sustainability often focus on how eating insects and bugs can help save the planet. A simple search on the internet reveals some unsettling articles in our publications. A headline from Time Magazine read like this, quote, how humans eating insects could help save the planet. Then from the, the publication The Atlantic, quote unquote, to save the world, eat bugs. And from the New York Times, can you imagine the New York Times? Why aren't we eating more insects? All of these stories have a very common thread. To solve world hunger and to protect the environment, the American people and the world needs to eat bugs and insects. But as I have already laid out, you can just eat more beef and feel good about the environmental impact. Now as for me, I'll be doing my part in May to honor National Beef Month. I will be eating juicy hamburgers or eating steak if the price isn't too outrageous. And it is right now. I will be supporting cattlemen from Iowa who produce the highest quality beef in the world. Farmers know firsthand the importance of clean and healthy environment. It is simply unfair to place the, place the blame of a changing climate on the backs of farmers. As a nation, we must stand with the farmers across the country and work with them to promote a clean environment. I will continue working at the policy making tables to ensure our cattle producers can continue raising high quality beef for generations to come and that families can enjoy it at their kitchen tables at prices they can afford. I yield the floor.